Oh yeah, when I was a little girl, something like this would just make <laughs> my day. Digging in the dirt for treasures like that guy right there. Or maybe this was more up your alley, yeah. or maybe up your tree. Climbing the tree, mom insisting you're gonna fall and break an arm. But all that mattered was getting to the top, mm -hmm. making sure you can see everything from where you are with the world beneath your feet. Eh, it's just sound good. We, we need to get back to the old fashioned fun. We need to get back to that, back to the basics. Yeah, let the little ones play. Yes. Chief Executive Officer of For All Seasons, Beth Ann Langrell, is back with us to talk a little bit more about that. And uh, speaking of play, uh, you know, the confetti looks like a really fun yes, toy. Um, and, and, and if people want to, if they want to participate in the confetti challenge, uh, real quick, how can they? So they can just contact our office. It's 410-822-1018, or they can find us on Facebook at For All Seasons Behavioral Health and RCC, and we will connect them right away to confetti and all things fun. Yeah. So, so uh, let's talk. Let's talk about play for a second. Why is play so important? Oh my gosh, it's so important for so many reasons. It helps to de-stress. It's really good for brain development. It's good for our children who are inundated right now in a virtual world just to be able to be given the space to imagine and be able to problem solve and just have some good old fashioned downtime like you're talking about. Yeah, yeah so you know, you talk about that virtual world and, and the screen time in it and everything that kids have, it seems like all the time. What kind of impact can that have on our children? Well, it's certainly, you know, that research has been shown that more screen time in children's lives creates an addictive behavior in the brain and it messes with the serotonin and, and really makes children want more and more and more. And so if we can implement things like in my household with my children, we have what's called a no phone zone time and, you know, put a basket in the kitchen and be able to really help them integrate using their own cognitive skills that are just what they are versus being on a phone and playing games and having the impact of all of the screen time on their little brains. Right. Now, and it's not a matter of saying, go in the other room and play. Mom and dad can get involved, right? Absolutely. You know, there's so much to be said about the skills that our little people learn from us and being able to see how we problem solve. And it's wonderful for children to hear moms and dads making the vroom vroom noise of the car. <laughs> for our little people, they learn how to make sounds and engage. And it really lets them know that it's okay to have fun in the midst of difficult times. Yeah. And, you know, when my kids were growing up, they would tell me they were bored. And I would be like, you have no idea what <laughs> boredom means. Is it okay to just let your kids be bored and find something to occupy their time? Absolutely. You know, it's really important as we go into the summer months to remember that structure is important for our children, but it's also really important to remember that having a day where it's just a day to do whatever without running to baseball games or going to camps, it's really okay to just have that plain old downtime where you find things to do creatively, whether it's outside riding a bike or taking a walk, finding rocks. You know, there's so many things that we can do if we let our minds be creative. And it's really important for our children's brain development that they're given that time to just be. Just go out and have fun. <laughs> Beth Ann Langrell, CEO of For All Seasons in Easton, thank you so much for inviting us to have fun. Well, and thank you for participating, and we hope that others will join our confetti challenge during this Mental Health Awareness Month. <laughs>